Uh, almost two minutes flat coming in on that first leg. Tell me just what you thought of the, uh, your leg coming in with tag set up for Manny. Uh, yeah, so as a sprinter, you know, I don't really run any of this. It's kind of just sticking with the pack and setting up my team. Kind of had to have my first leg, just make sure I run the race right. I'm pretty un inexperienced at this distance, so just staying with the group and leading my team, giving them a good start. Manny, uh, just tell me about that leg. I think it came out to 155. Uh, just overall, coming in, just sort of mid-pack start, second lap to you, and then you're leading in at an inch of start. Um, so when I got the baton, I just tried to make sure I didn't get that, you know, let that adrenaline get to me and try to pass everyone in the first 50 meters. So I tried to pass everyone one by one. I knew I could get up there. And um, entering that second lap, the first runner was fighting and so I had to do the same and then just at the last hundred meters I had to create a little gap so my buddy Drew could have a little bit of a cushion and we the handoff. You know, how much sort of comfort and confidence do you get when you know Manny comes across and he's first it's like alright you've got this leg up. <laughs> Definitely makes you know where the spot we want to be at in the race. We know where you're coming in, see the first and stuff. Uh, that guy got me this kind of scared me, but I had confidence in the I knew we'd get him. I was happy with how we did. Very happy. And Blake, I saw you looking back and smiling as you were coming across. Just take me through your your mind over that final stretch. Yeah, I mean, this is something that we've been uh, like working towards the entire season. We knew we were going to have a great 4 by 8 team this year. So to be out here in that last 50 meters and to know that we had the, the win locked up was really special. And uh, it, was, it was just amazing being able to do it with these group of guys.